So that was kind of like the beginning where you're like, this this might be a new career move situation for me here. Like, yep, that yeah. was. That what was were you, what were, you know, you're always a stand up comedian even before Vine, or did you start doing stand up after the Vine uh, success? No, I was like trying to do stand up around town. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't touring or anything, but I would go and I would like work on my jokes, and yeah. then those jokes became a movie. Uh, but I was never really good at it, and so then now I'm now around in like. April or May, I started writing stand up again. I'm trying to do it again. I'm going yeah. on tour and I go out to little cities and. Blah, That's blah, great blah. though, because now like you, you're able to get you know better spots and work on your material more. I'm imagining just being on the road outside of L.A., which is the the golden you know key to comedy. I think just working on your stuff outside of here. I was in Louisville the other night. I performed to 56 people. It was fucking the worst. It was really yeah. Oh, it was the worst. Yeah, oh, man. such a cool town. I know it's yeah. like a new comedy club. I love the comedy club. They were super nice, mm. but. Uh, they they have, they have two comedy clubs in Louisville. One's called Laugh Louisville. Yeah. And one's called Louisville Laughs. Right. So in my show, <laughs> I'm, same club. I'm <laughs> doing my show. And then like six people are walking in in the middle of the show. And then because I'm a YouTuber, yeah. like people, I don't know if stand-ups have this, but because I'm a YouTuber, people think they know you. So they start talking to you right away. Yeah. They're,